What we're going to do just to demonstrate how dangerous 120 and then we're going to jump to 240 can be. What we're going to do is we're going to test it on a, a hot dog, a wiener here. Now, this is something you do not want to try at home, all right? Safety is the utmost importance here. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to take all the precautions here in, in doing this. I'm going to induce a direct current across this hot dog. First, we're going to go with 120 volts, so neutral on one side, hot wire on the other of 120 volt. We're going to monitor the voltage. We're going to monitor the current. We're going to monitor the temperature of the hot dog and see how long it takes to get warm. And so first we'll start with 120, then we're going to go to 240. Now I've done a video on this before with the 120 volts, so I kind of know what's going to happen there. Never really hit it with the 220. So stick with me. I'm going to go to the GoPro shot here, a GoPro overhead, so you can get a nice close up of this and just see what happens. Because yes, dangerous, okay? Think of this as maybe your finger or a part of your arm. You get a shock across there, usually you're just going to pull away and that's the end of it. And you're going to say, oh, and, and you're not going to like it because your muscles are going to have taken a hit. But if you can't get away from it and it stays there long enough, you're going to find out what can happen. So a finger, yeah, maybe if you put 220 across your finger and, and you couldn't get away from it, it's going to cook your finger and you're going to have some major tissue damage there. But think about it if it goes across your body. Now your heart works on electrical impulses and any external sources of power can interrupt that signal cause your heart to quit beating. So if you had that current going from one arm through your body to the other side to your other arm and through your heart, it can stop your heart and it can and it does. So keep that in mind and just see when we do this little demonstration how much damage 120 and then 240 volts can do. Okay, so I've got my little experiment all set up here. I've got my Fluke Am Pro BAM meter here on this side to show the current flow. I've got my voltmeter here to prove the voltage I have. And my hot dog's all hooked up. The wiener's hooked up to two probes. This one's hot, this one's neutral. And I've got an infrared temperature device. So let's get a baseline reading here of what the hot dog reads before we put power to it. About 66.9, 67.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. I'm turning on the breaker and let's just see how long it takes to warm that up. Okay, you see we got 120 here. We've got 0.6 amps flowing here. It's not a lot, but remember milliamps will stop your heart in the wrong, in the wrong situation. So there is my hot dog. Still at 66 degrees. There, oh, there it's, I wasn't quite on it. It's warming up. 75, 77, 79, 80, 82, 83 degrees, 85, 86, 87. How long have we been going here? Not all that long. 90 degrees. 93, 102 degrees now I've got on the infrared scanner. It's hard to get it lined up here. 106, 110. I can hear the crackling now. 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll try to give you my mic and listen to the crackling a little bit here. She's cooking, I can smell it. Checking our temperature now. 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're getting the idea. Can 120 volts do some damage? Oh yeah. There we're at about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And I think that translates to medium rare. There's the smoke rolling off it. Wow. Do not try this at home. Okay, let's shut this one down and we will go to our... Oh, interesting enough though, look at the current. Started out at about 0.6 amps, dropped down to about 0.1 now because it's kind of burned itself off and increased the resistance, dried it out a little bit, so less current flows. Okay, so we're set up for experiment number two given that wiener, new wiener here we have on deck. 
on the grill, so to speak. <laughs> I've got my voltmeter on this side to see what kind of voltage we have. Amp probe again. And my temperature device. Now I've switched it over to 220 volts. Let's turn on that breaker and see what happens. 242 volts on the meter and it's starting to cook right away. You can hear, I'll put the mic down again. Smoking right away, double our amperage. Look at what's happening here. How quick that went to 95. Where is it? Our temperature is going up to 96 already. Almost burning it off on this end. Look at the smoke roll off of that wiener. So now we know double the voltage, double the damage. Listen to that. Shut off the power. So thanks for watching and I hope that you learned something from this video. Now if you have any questions or need further clarification, please feel free to comment below. I try to read and answer most of my comments. And while you're here, check out some of my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please click on that notifications bell. That way you'll know when I release a new video. And for those of you that are looking to further your DIY skills around electrical, I've put together a terrific course called the Weekend Wiring Warrior. So look in the description box for the link where you'll find all the information you need on this extensive program. I highly recommend it. As always, my goal is to help you become a more safe and competent do-it-yourselfer. So until next time, I'm Terry Peterman, your internet electrician.